Hi, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters and Living the Wholesome Life. And we are on, a, we're, I'm just going to call this a bonus week. We are on a bonus week right now. Usually, Monday through Friday, we are following Dr. Susan Lawton's book, Positive Peaceful Growth Calendar, that you can buy at Aroma Tools or Oil Life. Um, if you love positive affirmations or you love music therapy, if you love essential oils and aromatherapy, I think you're really going to appreciate this book. It's very, very simple in its format, but profound in the changes it can help us make in our life. So, just to let you know, as I'm filming this, I am in Utah, and there is a pretty good windstorm going. You might be able to hear that in the background a little bit. It's, um, we have, we've had warnings for like two days that a high windstorm was, um, coming our way and it has definitely come our way. We aren't in the, in the heart of the windstorm, but as my husband was out driving to his dad's house today, uh, he saw several semi trucks turned over and and trees uprooted um so there are some power outages and so as we're filming this and we're going to be talking about serenity today um just think of all the different experiences life can bring your way and some of them are expected and some of them aren't so the affirmation now this, oh, I wanted to tell you that this week is doTERRA's online conference convention. It's called um, Pursue Connection. If you Google doTERRA 2020 Pursue Connection convention, you will definitely get there. You can register. It costs $30 to, to um, register. You can then watch the convention whenever you want, as many times as you want, from Wednesday when it goes live all the way, and it's just going to be, it's only live Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, but you can watch it or re-watch it as many times as you want, any time that you want, all through October 31st. So it's hands down the best training I've ever experienced, and so if you love essential oils, you're definitely going to want to hop on and buy your ticket. I'll try to put the link in the comments today. So, um, but because convention is going to be Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, I don't want to go into a week of the Dr. Susan Lawton Positive Peaceful Calendar book. And I will not be hopping on on Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday because I'm just going to be enjoying for convention. That's going to be my beautiful self-care time. Hoping you're hopping on to that too. I'm assuming that we're all going to be hopping on and so you wouldn't have any time to listen to my um, essential oil shout outs. But today I wanted to give you a shout out on the essential oil serenity. But before we do, let's go ahead and let's talk about our affirmation for the day. And the affirmation for, my affirmation for today is, I stay founded in serenity, rooted to serenity, no matter what life brings my way. So you can tweak that however you want. I think I like that I stay rooted in serenity no matter what life sends my way. And are we sometimes going to get pushed or pulled out of our serene um, places? Mm -hmm. Yes, we are, we're human, and so that's gonna happen to us. But when that happens, what we're gonna do is, is we are going to notice that we're out of our serene place, that we're starting to get a little agitated starting to get a little anxious, whatever it is, um, heat it up, whatever it is. And then we are going to quickly get ourselves back into a place of serenity. So as a person was, I, I was, I love listening to clips and I can't even remember where this clip came from, 
that it's basically they said whenever you're st trying to stop a bad habit, there are kind of a few stages that you go through. One is when you do that bad habit and then you don't, you go, like after you do it, you're like, oh, I did that. Let's just take, let's just take um, getting angry with our children, okay, or frustrated. So um, you might not notice as you're starting to get angry, um, but you definitely notice after you've kind of blown your cool. And so that's, and they kind of compared that to a person learning to be potty trained. At first, they're like, oh, my diaper's wet, or oh, my diaper's poopy, right? You don't recognize it until after it happens. And then you start recognizing it, oh, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to lose my cool here. I'm starting to raise my voice, starting to talk a little bit, not in a kind tone. And so then you start noticing when you were doing it, right? No, it seemed like if you were um, likening it to the potty training thing, you're noticing, oh, great, I'm pooping right now. Oh, great, I'm, you know, whatever. Anyway, and so, and then you finally get to the point where you're like, oh, I need to go potty. I should probably go and run to the bathroom or whatever, right? So then you start noticing when you have the urge to do something. So like me and that to, to um, you know, yelling at your children or something, you start noticing, oh, you know what? I'm, I'm starting to get a little anxious. I'm starting to get a little angry. Maybe you're gonna even back it down. You're gonna recognize it before you get angry. I'm starting to get frustrated. I'm starting to feel disrespected. I'm starting to do these different, um, these different smaller things when that fire within us is just burning. We're gonna see the small things and then what are we gonna do? We are gonna pull ourselves back into our serene, um, our serene spot so that we don't get angry, so we don't talk to our children in a frustrated um, way, so that we don't poop our pants like we were talking about, um, learning how to um, be potty trained, whatever, so that we don't do whatever. So, you know, if you're trying to cure an addiction, you see yourself when you get that frustration or that boredom or that urge or whatever, and then you back yourself down from that. You learn, you learn to recognize it easier so you can take care of the small things that are pulling you out of your serene place. So I thought it might be good just to talk about serenity for a little bit before we go into the songs for the day and the the um the shout out on the doTERRA's serenity blend. So how can we stay better in our serene energy? And this is what I'm thinking. The first thing you need to do is you need to know what it feels like to feel serene. Like, and what, like, is that just like when you're kind of dropping off to sleep maybe and you have, feel like a peace? Is it when you're just waking up and you feel like, you know, beautiful? It's, you're happy to be starting the day? Is it when you have your family all around you at night for prayer? Maybe you're holding hands in your little circle or whatever you do. And you just feel that comforting peace. So to me, feeling serene is feeling peaceful. It's having, um, feeling loved. It's it's having love, having the feelings of love for other people as well. Um, but let's first recognize where do we feel serene? There might be places that we feel serene. I feel very, very serene when I'm by large bodies of ocean, whether that's a huge lake, large bodies of ocean. I feel really serene when I'm by large bodies of water, whether that's a huge lake or whether that's an ocean. Just, just being, seeing the power of the ocean, seeing the calm, seeing all that what blue, Water against that blue sky is just gorgeous to me. I feel very, very serene there. Some people feel serene when they're, you know, having a nice warm bath or um, when they're cuddling with their children. Think of a time when you think of, when you feel serene. And we're going to use that as a, as a um, building block to our serenity. It's going to be one, that image is going to be one of the tools 
when we start feeling unserene, we're going to think about that image. And I think there's some other ways to help us be more serene people. And one, I think that that praying to Heavenly Father and connecting with God is a beautiful way to stay, to help stay more serene. In fact, I think that when we get unserene, one of the best things for us to do is to pray to Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father, I'm starting to get a little unserene here. I'm starting to get a little frustrated, a little angry, a little anxious, a little afraid. Can you help me? Can you send your spirit of comfort and peace so that I can feel more serene? Um, another thing connecting with God would be reading the scriptures. Maybe you have a musical first aid kit. If you don't have a musical first aid kit, I would highly, highly recommend that. Put the songs that uplift you. Put a few songs that uplift you. Put a few songs that relax you. Put a few songs that make you feel protected in your musical first aid kit. And you're gonna have some songs in there too that help you feel serene. Now my musical first aid kit is gonna to be totally different from your musical first aid kit. And that's that's the way it should be. I also think that looking at art can help us feel serene. Being out in nature can help us feel serene. What helps you feel serene? I would love if you're watching this, put that in the comments. What helps you feel serene? Talking to my friends, oh, it can bring me back so quickly to a state of serenity. Just talking to someone who, who kind of is going through the same experience, even if it's not exactly the same, a similar experience and someone who loves us. Um, when I talk to someone who loves me, I feel serene. I think that's one of the reasons why I always love visiting my dad as much as I do because, or having him visit, because any time he visits, he seems to bring the sunshine with him. He brings the serenity. Um, you can't you can't be in his presence without feeling absolutely loved and just a joyful type of connection. So we're gonna sit down. We're gonna think what helps me personally be serene. And we're not gonna go to like those those um, unhealthy fixes. We're not gonna be oh you know getting high on drugs makes me feel serene. Nope, we're not going there. And we're not going to, um, you know, drinking alcohol makes me feel serene. We're not going there. Smoking a cigarette makes me feel serene. We're not going there. We're not going to go to any of the addictions that we know down deep in our heart are not for our highest good. Um, okay. So, um, and then, so thinking about what makes us feel serene, thinking about what can pull us back into serenity. So now let's say that we're getting... Um, a little bit frustrated or heated or whatever. What we're gonna do is we're gonna notice that before we get to like um, a, a, a unhealthy point or a point where we don't like um, personally about ourselves. And, and then we're gonna back ourselves down. And we're gonna back ourselves by the tools that we have in that kit, right? Um, essential oils can be so wonderful for that. Music therapy, again, talking to your friends, but we're gonna, what are the kits, what's in your toolkit to help you stay serene? And then you know what? It's always good to just take a time out, take a time out. I remember I was reading, I was in, when I was living in Little Rock and I was reading this, this book, I can't even remember the title, but it was about how to organize your brain if your brain's starting to get a little bit out of control. And what they said is there's two things that can very, very quickly organize your brain. One is counting your blessings, bring it back to thankfulness. And the other thing is actually reading, reading a book helps our brains organize themselves. And when our brains are organized, we seem to be much more serene and much more able to handle other things. So keep a good book in your Serenity First Aid Kit too. Okay, all of that said, Let's go on to our song for the week. And as I'm thinking about it, I'm like, oh gracious, I didn't put my song for the week um, for this affirmation. I will put it for you in the, in the comments, the songs that I really wanted to talk to you about. 
But some other songs that are just coming to my mind right now is the song Master of the Tempest is Raging and how Christ comes and he he stills the water. You know, peace be still. I think that's a beautiful, beautiful song. So look for the comments. I will put the songs for today's serenity affirmation in the comments. Now, let's talk about what we are diffusing today, and that is doTERRA's Serenity Essential Oil Blend. It looks like this. It has a beautiful purple label. I always associate purple with doTERRA. And um, let, me, let me give you a little bit of background. Now, this is I pulled this straight off of doTERRA's website to tell you a little bit more about it. Doterra, so if it sounds like I'm reading, it's because I am reading. Doterra's Serenity Restful Blend has a calming and a relaxing aroma that provides a unique user experience. This perfectly balanced, tranquil blend can be sensed immediately, transporting the user into a state of blissful repose. Doterra's Serenity combines essential oils renowned for their ability to create a restful environment at bedtime. Apply one to two drops in the hands and inhale throughout the day to help reduce life's daily stressors or diffuse at night to help quiet a restless baby or child. The addition of cedarwood, hoewood, and vetiver Essential oils gives doTERRA's serenity a grounding aroma that encourages a tranquil atmosphere when it's time to wind down. doTERRA's serenity can be used in conjunction with doTERRA's serenity restful complex sleep gels. Diffu diffusion of doTERRA's serenity essential oil blend creates a relaxing environment while the soft gels promote a restful night's sleep. Uses diffuse at night to calm a restless baby or child. Apply to the bottoms of feet at bedtime to help unwind before going to sleep. Use in conjunction with doTERRA Serenity Restful Comp Soft Gels for an enhanced effect. Inhale directly from hands or diffuse throughout the day for a soothing aroma. Add two to three drops into a warm up bath with Epsom salt to create a relaxing, renewing experience. Apply two to three drops to the back of the neck or to the heart for feelings of peace. Now, I want to break down the oils that are in Serenity. I did a shout out yesterday breaking down doTERRA's new Pursue Blend. It was a long shout out. Like if you want to paint your house, listen to it. Um, it was actually like the longest shot I had ever done. I didn't know how long it would actually take. It went on for like an hour and a half. That is not what I want to do. Um, again, so we're going to make this a shorter shout out, but you know what? If you're like me, go ahead and do your dishes while you're, while you're watching or clean your kitchen. I love cleaning while I'm listening and, and watching clips. So, doTERRA serenity oil has three flower oils in it. It has lavender, ylang ylang, and Roman chamomile. Now I'm going to be teaching you a little bit about each of those later, but I want you just to get to know them as families. As families, flowers are relaxing. Relaxing. So, and then it has two tree oils for grounding and balance. And those tree oils are cedarwood and sandalwood. Then it has vetiver, which comes from a root, keeping you rooted. And then it has marjoram and whole leaf, which are, well, marjoram is an herb. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I know that whole leaf, that whole wood leaf oil comes from a leaf. And so leaf oils help us to, um, to breathe. All leaves support the respiratory system of the plant, so leaf oils help us to breathe. And the in Chinese medicine, leaves, um, I guess, um, essences from leaves help us to release sadness as well. So you have three out flower oils, relaxing, two tree oils, grounding, balancing, 
when um, root oil, obviously keeping you rooted, um, when herb oil, and then hoewood oil, which comes from a leaf, which helps us to release the sadness. So, um, let me tell you about about what some of these oils are good for, and I'm just going to break them into categories, okay? So sleep support. Serenity essential oil is great for sleep support. Why? Because of this follow lean oils that are great for your sleep support, which is lavender, cedarwood, hoewood, marjoram, roma chamomile, vetiver, and, and so all of those help with sleep support. It's great for our skin and our hair. Yes, absolutely. You can take your Serenity essential oil, put a drop into your moisturizer, put a drop into your facial cleanser. See how that um, helps to clarify your complexion. See how that might help to reduce fine lines. And, but very, very beautiful for skin. So um, the oils that are great for skin and hair are lavender, cedarwood, ylang ylang, roman chamomile, hoewood, and sandalwood. Then you have oils in the Serenity blend that are good for mental support, which is so good because if we're gonna see, if we're gonna stay serene, we're gonna definitely need mental support. And so um, the lavender, the cedarwood, and the vanilla. Oh, I think I forgot to mention vanilla. Anyway, the vanilla in this blend is great for mental support. There's oils in here that are good for our cardiovascular system. Lavender, ylang ylang, marjoram, roman chamomile, vanilla, and sandalwood all help to be supportive to our cardiovascular system, to our hearts. The, um, and then there's oils in here that are good for muscle and joint pain. So absolutely, you can use your serenity um, essential oil when you have achy hands, when you have an achy back, when um, you have muscle soreness, maybe you've just exercised or you wanna put it on your muscles before your exercise. Go ahead, that's completely fine to do. There are, there are essential oils in here that help repel insects. So lavender, cedarwood, sandalwood, all help repel insects. You probably already know that cedarwood does, right? Because that's why people put, put their special things into cedarwood chests. But lavender and, and sandalwood also help to repel insects. So what can you do with your serenity? You can also put it, um, you can spray it, you know, put it into a, like a little spray. If I had like a little like two ounce spray bottle, I could, I could put like 20 drops into that bottle and then just spray my drawers. I could spray my closets just to make sure that, um, to keep it free from like moss and other bugs. That's one of the reasons why people used to put sachets in their, in their, um, drawers, you know, filled with lavender and other things because it helped keep the bugs and insects away. Now, I love that there's oils in Serenity that also help with insect bites, which, and those oils would be lavender and Roman chamomile. So if you get bit, if you get stung, not, well, if you get stung by a bee, if you get bit by an ant, if you get, if you get bit by a mosquito, definitely, and you have Serenity with you, put it on, you know, just take a drop like this and just put it on wherever you're having those, those issues. There's also in Serenity essential oil blend, there's also some oils that support our respiratory system. And those specifically would be cedarwood, marjoram, and sandalwood. So helping us breathe better. And then there's some oils. Hold on just a minute. The weather has just changed from like in the 80s yesterday to in the 60s. Today to in the 90s later on this week. And so I think that I'm, I'm feeling some of the weather. Anyway, it is great for for hormone balance. And the oils that specifically help with that in this blend are ylang ylang, marjoram, vanilla, and sandalwood. 
And if we want to stay in, in our places of serenity, our hormones definitely need to be balanced. And I'm talking to the men and I'm talking to the women because when our hormones get unbalanced, we can become sensitive. Things that are small can be big. Um, anyway, so we want to be have our hormones balanced. And there's oils in the Serenity blend that can help improve digestion. And those specifically are lavender, marjoram, and Roman chamomile. Roman chamomile tea. Do you remember Peter Rabbit when he went and he ate all those blackberries or whatever he ate in Mr. McGregor's garden and then he came home and and his mom put him to bed with some chamomile tea. It's because chamomile tea is known for centuries to help improve our digestion. So if you were trying to improve your digestion and you had serenity essential oil, you could just rub that on your stomach and see um, how that works for you. And then there's also essential oils in here that that boost our immune system. And specifically those are vetiver, vanilla, I didn't know that about vanilla until today, vanilla and then hoed essential oil. So now that I've kind of talked to you about the families, where they come from, in what type of plant they come from, and, and kind of what their physical things that they do, I wanted to talk to you specifically about some of the things that the they do for us, the different essential oils in here do for us emotionally. And the first essential oil that I want to talk about emotionally is lavender. Now lavender is the oil of communication and calm. Some people like to call it the oil of contemplation. And the negative, the negative emotions that lavender helps, helps with is blocked communication, fear of rejection. Oh, I love that. So many times we get out of our places of serenity because we have fears and fear of rejection can be a huge one. And when we're feeling constricted or tense, when we have racing thoughts, when we have emotional dishonesty going on, that can definitely pull us out of our serene place. And when people are feeling like they have to hide, when they have a fear of self-disclosure, when they're feeling unseen, unheard, unloved, or when they're just basically insecure. And the positive properties that lavender essential oil can help bring in is open communication, a sense of calm, emotional honesty, being self-aware and having greater peace of mind. Okay, the next oil, the second oil in the Serenity blend is cedarwood, which is the oil of community and the oil of grounded strength. So let me tell you about the negative, the um, negative emotions that cedarwood can help with. If people are having a hard time forming social bonds, cedarwood is great. If when we're feeling lonely, when we're feeling separate from the human family, or when we're feeling um, antisocial, with everything that's going on right now, I think that there's a lot more people feeling lonely. There's a lot more people feeling isolated. There's a lot more people that are struggling with how to make social connections. And you know what? With everything going on, maybe a few of us are feeling a little antisocial too. So the cedarwood in this beautiful serenity blend can help. And the positive properties that the cedarwood in this blend brings in is feeling emotionally connected, wanting to emotionally connect feeling like you belong, feeling like you're supported, having an easier time making social bonds and feeling more sociable and more community oriented. Not everything's my, you know, I want everything my way. It's me, me, me. No, what's, what's good for the, for everyone, right? Okay, so that is cedarwood essential oil. Then we go into whole wood leaf oil. Now you might not be as um, familiar with whole wood leaf oil. Usually it's one that is in a blend and not all by itself. Whole wood oil is emotionally uplifting. It promotes alertness and clarity, but is relaxing and refreshing at the same time. It's beautiful to add to a bath. And can you add your serenity to a bath? Absolutely. You know, add it to a quarter cup. I like five drops. 
to like a quarter cup to a full cup of Epsom salts, make sure you have your water bottle because anytime you're using Epsom salts, you definitely want to up your water intake, but it's just going to be a soothing, relaxing, like you've gone to the Bahamas bath. Anyway, I've never been to the Bahamas. I'm just saying it's going to be relaxing. It'd be fun. I think it'd be fun to go to the Bahamas. Can't wait till all this is over so we can go. Who wants to go with me to the Bahamas? Anyway, it's beautiful in massage blends. It's great for um, pain in muscles and joints. It's great to use when you have achy hands. Some people love to add the the Howood leaf oil to your shampoo. You can definitely add Serenity essential oil to your shampoo. Howood helps calm the nerves. It can help relieve Help us find relief in times of profound sadness. So, whole wood oil has a very high linalool content. So it's great for sleep and it's beautiful for our skin. So the next, the fourth oil in here is Ylang Ylang flower oil. The oil of the inner child or the oil of romantic, romantic connection. Now, a lot of people, um, say that if you're if you're a guy and you're like trying to stir up some romance you might want to put on the um oh my gracious i think it patchouli you might want to put on patchouli and similarly if you're a girl and you want to stir up a little romance you might want to put on some elangy ling so the negative emotions that elangy ling can help with is when you're feeling joyless when you're feeling stressed when you're overanalyzing things, when you're feeling sad, or when you're feeling disconnected from that joyous part of you. And the positive properties that Ylang Ylang essential oil can help with is feeling more playful, feeling more free, going more with our intuition, listening and hearing our inner, our inner intuition more, being more emotionally connected. Hey, you know what, I'm feeling angry. Hmm, why am I feeling angry? Let's get to the bottom of that. Oh, look it, I think you're feeling really sad or frustrated. What's what's really going on, right? Can we get to the bottom of things? Caleb, can you come and get this fly that seems to be liking to be on camera today? The we've been we've been um, harvesting and and canning and our doors have just been open and Anyway, so we have some flies going on. Can't wait to get rid of them all. Another reason why you'd want your serenity oil. Anyway, um, it helps you feel more, a Langy Lang essential oil can help you feel more emotionally connected, more joyful, and just to enjoy the innocence of life, the innocent part of life. The fifth oil that's in the Serenity blend is marjoram leaf oil. No, marjoram is the oil of connection. It's the oil of connective union. And marjoram is a powerhouse when it comes to um, helping with pain and discomfort. So if you're trying to put, if you want a, a good essential oil to put in your massage blend, marjoram is a powerhouse oil for it and marjoram is inner serenity now if you listen to me at all you know how many times i'm saying what an oil does physically it does emotionally what it does emotionally it also does physically so if marjoram is going to be a powerhouse oil when it comes to um easing the pain and discomfort it's also going to help us ease and let go of some of the emotional pain some of the emotional comfort discomfort that we have now and that we've had in the past helping us work through that and finally releasing it so the negative emotions that marjoram essential oil can help with is feeling emotionally i'm sorry being distrusting being emotionally aloof or distant feeling overly protected sometimes we do that when we've had some major pains going on in our life. Sometimes we want to be majorly protective of ourselves or we even want to be majorly protective of others. So, um, Caleb, feeling reclusive, feeling, having a fear of rejection or self-sabotaging. And the positive properties that 
that marjoram can help bring in is feeling emotionally open and connected, having closer relationships, and feeling soft-hearted and loving and having this beautiful ability to trust. When we can, when we can um, release, when we can lessen some of that pain, when we can work through some of that pain and release it, we can again open our heart to be beautifully, beautifully trusting. Okay, the sixth oil in this blend, one, two, three, four, five, six, yep, is Roman chamomile flower oil. Now, Roman chamomile, Caleb, you're still needed, the, is the oil of spiritual purpose, the oil of gentleness. Some people like to call Roman chamomile the kid calmer, although definitely it can calm way more than just children. The negative emotions that Roman chamomile can help with is feeling purposeless, feeling discouraged, feeling like life is a drudgery and you don't want to go through the drudgery, feeling frustrated or feeling unsettled, just having this, a major unsettled feeling. And the positive properties that Roman chamomile can help bring in is being purposeful, feeling guided, being at peace, feeling fulfilled, letting the different things that you do actually feel the fulfillment, celebrate the beautiful things that you're doing and the beautiful ways that you are being today, feeling more relaxed, feeling more spiritually connected. So Roman chamomile, again, some people love to call it the kid calmer. It's definitely one of the most common um, calming oils around. And in fact, Roman chamomile tea, I think is one of the number one most um, consumed herbal tea in the world. Probably peppermint would be a second. I haven't checked that. I just know that when I last looked at Roman chamomile tea, um, as I was doing the study on Roman chamomile, they were saying, that there was like millions of rum cups consumed around the world each day of Roman chamomile tea because it's so calming and because it's so supportive to our digestive system. And again, what, a, what an essential oil does physically, it also does emotionally. So if it's helping our digestive system, right, it is also gonna be helping us digest the dip, our brains and our emotions to digest the different things in life. The eighth oil that we're going to be talking about is vetiver root. Now, vetiver root is the oil of centering and grounding. Some people like to call it the oil of stillness. And there's power, power in stillness. The negative emotions that vetiver can help with is when we're feeling apathetic. We just don't care. So if, if you're in a place of non-caring, the vetiver in the serenity oil will be very, very supportive to that. Okay, it's, um, if you're feeling disconnected, if you're feeling scattered, or you're feeling stressed, if you're feeling ungrounding, ungrounded, if you've been avoiding things, you don't even wanna look at things, right? Um, and apathy can go into that. And, or if you're in a crisis mode, vetiver because it's one of those root essential oils can bring you back to feeling rooted can help you through help us all through the crises of our life and does do our do our um do each of our lives have crises yes whether they're small crises or whether they're huge crises each life will have some crises in it and vetiver um, is a beautiful oil to reach for, and I'm so thankful that it's included in this Serenity blend from doTERRA. The fifth, I mean, sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eighth. The eighth oil is Vanilla Bean Absolute. Now, the Absolute is different from an essential oil, but it's, it's still made from the plant, so I'm going to be telling you about Vanilla Bean Abs Absolute. The aroma of vanilla is one of the most calming and uplifting of scents. It helps us feel more confident that the future will be full of promise and hope. It is welcoming, 
It is a welcoming and warming oil. And it can set a very romantic tone. I remember doing a study on vanilla bean and and um and scents and how so many men were attracted to the scent of vanilla and when they smell vanilla they actually rated the woman that the of the picture that they were looking at um as higher in physical attractiveness and i thought that was very very interesting so vanilla you'll notice that vanilla is used <coughs> I'm looking for my water, but I don't see it. Anyway, you'll notice that vanilla is used in a, in a ton of perfumes. And can you use Serenity essential oil as a perfume? Absolutely. What I would do if I was going to be using essential, the Serenity essential oil blend as a perf perfume is I was I would I would get one of those 10 ml roller bottles. I would put between about 20 drops into it, fill the rest of it with fractionated coconut oil, and then just rub that on to your pulse points as you go throughout the day. I think it's going to be a beautiful blend. And and what are the other perfume really, really helps, um, ha helps your body have so many beautiful physical and emotional benefits. You don't want the fake fragrances. Oh my gracious, they totally do a number on your hormone system, which can do our number on our emotions and our mental well-being. We, we don't want artificial scents. We want scents that nature brings us that help us stay more balanced emotionally and physically. Okay, the very last, so the ninth essential oil in this Serenity blend Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I was just gonna see if Serenity has nine letters, but nope, it only has eight letters. But there's nine essential oils in this blend. And the very last one is Hawaiian sandalwood. It's the oil of sacred devotion and the oil of alignment. So as as we're talking about Hawaiian sandalwood, now there's two different types of sandalwood. There's Hawaiian sandalwood, which has a sweeter smell, and then there's the Indian sandalwood, which has um, a more woody smell. And both of them are great. Both of them are beautiful and they both have benefits. So would I say I would just to buy a Hawaiian or, or the Indian sandalwood? No, I'd say buy them both. You're gonna be using them both for slightly different things, but they're both gonna be joyous sandalwood oils for you. Okay, so again, Hawaiian sandalwood, the oil of sacred devotion, the oil of alignment, helping us stay more in line with our greatest good, with our missions in life. So the negative emotions that sandalwood essential oil can help with is when we're feeling disconnected from God or from our spirituality, for our, from our spiritual self, having a hard time hearing that inner voice when we feel empty when we are overthinking things or when we are being materialistic. Oh gracious, I love that they put that in our serenity blend. Don't you love that? Because sometimes we get pulled out of our serene place when we're running after money. Money is great, like don't get me wrong, I think money is great and I would, you know, as the as the um, the father in Fiddler on the Roof says, um, if money is the curse of life, may, may God just absolutely, you know, lay it down on me, right? Because you can do so good, so much good with money. You can help so many people with money. So I love money. But there can be a time when we are sacrificing our values or when we're sacrificing those we love in the pursuit of money. So I love that sound of what oil can um, kind of... Be, do a wake up call and say, "Hey, are are you on the right path? Path is your ladder that you're that you're climbing up against the right tree. And if it's not, you know, change." Um, and I love how it helps us when we're feeling disconnected with God, from God, because I think that connection with God helps us stay in our on our beautiful place of serenity when we know that God is all powerful that he's all knowing, that he has a plan even before whatever hit. God had a plan to help us get through and we can trust him. We can, we can bank on his strength and that pulls us all back to a beautiful place of serenity. The positive properties that serenity, that sandalwood can help bring in is being humble. 
um, paying more attention to our spiritual devotions, having more spiritual clarity, being more still, more at peace, enjoying quiet more, having a sense of surrender. You know what? I don't need to be the one in charge all the time. Just surrendering, surrendering a lot of that to God. We don't need to, or maybe even surrendering judgment. We don't need to judge other people. We don't know what's in their heart. We don't know what they were thinking. We don't know their backstory, so we can't really judge. And um, also being, having an easier time connecting to our higher consciousness. So, doTERRA serenity oil. Emotionally, it's a beautiful oil. Physically, it's a beautiful oil. Can you diffuse it? Yes. Can you put it in your bath? Yes. Can it help you get a better night's rest? Yes. Can it help us when we're being pulled out of our ser our serene places? Yes. Can we just wear it as a perfume because we like the way it smells? Yes. It's a beautiful, beautiful oil. It's Oh, the reason I'm doing the shout out on it today is because all throughout September, it's 10% off from doTERRA and I will put a link um on for you on that i'm going to also include some of the starter kits so and you can do your shopping from what you like on the link um if someone else invited you to this to this you know this shout out go ahead and if you want to order anything get with them right they're the ones who told you about the channel so get with them but if you're not or if you don't already have your favorite doTERRA friends i would love to be it and i would love to help you get the essential oils that you want Okay, this is Susanna Williams with Essential Oils Health Matters. I'm reminding us that today we are diffusing our serenity, staying in our serene place no matter what life brings our way. And the the song for the entire week, well, the song for today with today's affirmation is Master the Tempest is, ra is, is Raging. I will put it in. I will put some other alternative songs to this this affirmation too. And then the affirmation for today is, I stay rooted in my space of serenity no matter what life brings my way. I stay rooted in my place of serenity no matter what life brings my way. Okay, this is Suzanne Williams with Essential Oils, Health Matters, and Living the Wholesome Life, reminding us all that we have this incredible power within us with God to make every day a great day. Bye-bye.